Recently at the pumpkin patch, I had an opportunity to share the story of Arvada United Methodist Church's beginning. Connected to Benjamin Wadsworth, connected to Old Town, connected to a continued ministry that we support at the Rising, which was our former building before the congregation moved here in the early 60s. And as I was telling that story, and the person that was listening was so amazed by some of the incredible intersections of AUMC history with the history of Arvada and Denver, I found myself marveling again at what people can do, what a church community can do when they gather all they have together, a vision, their resources, their blood, sweat, and tears to make a ministry and mission happen. That's the very beginning of our story as a church, but it continues every generation and every day in the life of our congregation. The amazing things that God can do through us and in us and from us when we gather who we are and our resolve and our commitment and our faith and our resources to make a ministry happen. Whether it's a children's daycare program through our KDD, whether it's through the emergence of our continued community outreach ministry, whether it's a vision that this congregation had over two decades ago to be fully committed to being a reconciling church and welcoming all people because all people matter to God. I hope you'll join us this Sunday on November 5th, either online or in person for our gift dedication Sunday, when we will make a pledge of our financial commitments to bringing our gifts all together to make ministry happen in the next year. You can either um, fill out a card and return it in person or in worship. You can go online and make your pledge commitment that way. It helps us know how we can resource our church and our ministries for the future. I hope you'll continue to watch this brief video, uh, a conversation between Carol Jeanette and Gay Ostrander, two folks who are connected in very different times of their lives through a ministry called our Congregational Care Ministry, where we have an outreach to those homebound, those shut in, those folks who have spent generations of years of ministry and service in this congregation and now whom we visit and who we extend God's love and grace to. Their story and their witness and their invitation reminds us that each and every day we glorify God by coming together, by connecting with God and one another, and by giving generously to the resourcing and the ministry of our church for our future. I hope you'll join us this Sunday, which is also All Saints Day when we light candles, remembering those saints who have gone before us. And as we bring our gifts, and as we remember the amazing things God can do when we work together, and when we bring all the blessings of our treasures from God to work with one another. I hope to see you Sunday. Carol Jeanette, and I'm a volunteer with the AUMC Ministerial Care Team. And what we do is we call or come visit people that are homebound or in assisted living, like gay, and we visit with them. Sometimes we provide um, prayer shawls for some of the people that are in assisted living or homebound. And I first got involved with the ministerial care team by making phone calls during COVID. Um, and at the time, Reverend Megan Berg was here and she, um, they needed help. So my wife, Julie, and I decided that we would help AUMC even before we were members. Mm. That's, that's amazing. Well, when we moved to Arvada in, I don't know, anyway, we joined the Methodist Church. It's been a long time been a long time member. In fact, we at the old old church before they built the one up the hill. So it's been a long time. It's always a joy for me to visit people and I love people. And so when I first got to meet Gay, it was really fun learning about her and her husband, who was a Purdue boiler maker, right? <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was, it's just, um, it just, provides me with peace and fulfillment. Um, 
In fact, I probably, I probably get more than Gay does from it, but um, it's just a, a wonderful way to connect with people. And also, it's really neat that Gay has been such a, a longtime member of the church, so connecting the past with the present, since I'm a relatively new member of AUMC. And um, it just is something that um, every time I come to visit, I leave with a smile on my face. That's, that's been so great because I don't feel forgotten and there isn't time for the ministers to visit all of us. But it, it's just a wonderful, wonderful service that they provide. I just want to say connectedness was a key in last week's sermon, and yes. that is something that I just um, feel really blessed that I get to connect with you and Betty and all the people that I visit, Pat and Bob, and that you, you are just a joy to visit and a joy Thank to you. be with. Thank you. Oh, I watched every Sunday. Oh, that's, that's been wonderful because it's, it, it's the, the regular service and you can see it and, mm -hmm. and participate and anyway, without, anyway, it, it's a way to be connected. It's a way to get to church without physically being there in church. Yeah. So the live stream is very important to me. The, the reason why uh, Julie and I my wife Julie and I give our time and our money to AUMC is because um, we watched the online service back in April of 21, I believe it was, and because we were looking for a church that would match our values, and those values being connected, connectedness, community, serving others. Um, all those things were important to us as well as hearing the gospel every Sunday and learning from that and going to Bible studies and those sorts of things. So we, we joined after watching online. But the, the real reason we joined was we felt that sense of community and welcoming. Um, the music was very inspiring to us. Um, we just, we love being members of the community, whether it's we're fixing meals for the rising or serving at the rising. We try to make sure that we're generously abundant with time and money, so that's why we get so involved with the church. We really, and I will say this personally too, I really believe that the staff at AUMC is exceptional and I cannot um, tell you how much I, I know what they do on a weekly basis, daily basis. I probably don't know all the all of it, but they are just um, the best people and the best um, providing us with services that are extraordinary. And uh, I'm very feel again very blessed to be part of AUMC. If you're interested in becoming involved with the ministerial care team, all you would need to do is uh, contact Reverend Lauren or myself even, or anybody that's on the ministerial uh, care team. And we'd be happy to connect you with some people that uh, need to feel that connectedness with us.